Hello. Welcome to Storytime at Hickory Public Library. My name is Lisa and I'm the children's librarian here. And we're going to have some good stories this morning. We're going to start with a song. Uh, hello song. It's got a little bit of sign language in it. So the sign for hello is like a salute. Put your head, hand to your forehead and up and out. That's hello. And then there's friend. Two friends hug. Boom, boom. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. <laughs> That's a good way to start. So, I have books today about food. I must be hungry, although I had breakfast, but I've got some good stories. And the first one is, The Wolf's Chicken Stew by Keiko Kaza. There once lived a wolf who loved to eat more than anything else in the whole world. As soon as he finished one meal, he began to think about, about the next. All he thought about was food. One day, the wolf got a terrible craving for chicken stew. All day long, he walked across the forest in search of a delicious chicken, and then he spotted one. Oh, she is just perfect for my stew, thought the wolf. And he crept up behind her and he got closer and closer. But just as he was about to grab that chicken, he had another idea. If there were just some way to fatten this bird up a little bit more, he thought, then there would be all the more chicken stew for me. So the wolf ran home and went into his kitchen and began to cook. First, he made a hundred scrumptious pancakes. And then late at night, he tiptoed to the chicken's house and left them on her front porch. Eat well, my pretty chicken, he cried. Get nice and fat for my stew. The next night, he bought a hundred scrumptious donuts. Eat well, my pretty chicken. Get nice and fat for my stew. And on the next night, he brought a scrumptious yummy cake that weighed about a hundred pounds. Eat well, my pretty chicken. Get nice and fat for my stew. At last, he was ready. This was the night he'd been waiting for. He got a large stew pot on the fire and set out joyfully to find his dinner. That chicken must be as fat as a balloon by now, he thought. Let's see. And he peeked in the door through the lock. But as he peeked in, the door opened suddenly and the chicken screeched, oh, it was you, Mr. Wolf. Children, children, come look. The pancakes and the donuts and that delicious cake, they weren't from Santa Claus. All those presents were from Uncle Wolf. And the baby chicks jumped all over the wolf and gave him a hundred little kisses. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you, Uncle Wolfie. You're the best cook in the whole world. Uncle Wolf did not have chicken stew that night or any other night, but Mrs. Fi Mrs. Chicken fixed him a nice dinner anyway. 
Aw, shucks, he thought as he walked home. Maybe tomorrow I'll bake the little critters a hundred scrumptious cookies. And that's just what he did. Mm -hmm. And that's the wolf's chicken stew. That's a fun story. I have one here called Beep and Bop. And it's by Linda Sue Park. Look, even the dog's pushing his bowl over. Bee Bim Bop by Linda Sue Park and illustrated by Cole Beck Lee. Bee Bim Bop is a dish. Almost time for supper. Rushing to the store, Mama buys the groceries. More, Mama, more. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Gotta shop, shop, shop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee bim bop. Mama in <clears throat> home and in the kitchen, eggs to stir and fry. Mama, catch the spatula, flip the eggs high. Hurry, Mama, hurry. Got a flip, flip, flop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee, bim, bop. So there's eggs in it. I wonder what else is in bee, bim, bop. Rice is on the boil, bubbling in the pot. White and sticky, lickety, steaming, good and hot. Hurry, flurry, rice. Got a pop, pop, pop. Hungry, hungry, hungry for some bee, bim, bop. Look at the dog. <laughs> Mama's nice. <clears throat> knife is shiny, slicing fast and neat. Garlic and green onions, skinny strips of meat. Chop, 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 chop. Hurry, Mama, hurry, gotta chop, chop, chop. Hungry, very hungry for some beef bim bop. Spinach, sprouts, and carrots. Each goes in a pan. Let me pour the water in. Yes, I know I can. Mm -hmm. She spilled a little bit, didn't she? I bet the dog will take care of her. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Got to mop, mop, mop. Hungry in a hurry for some beef, bim, bop. Bowls go on the table. Big ones striped in blue. I help set the glasses out. Spoons and chopsticks, too. Hurry, family, hurry. Gotta hop, hop, hop. Dinner's on the table and it's bee, bim, bop. Quiet for a moment. Papa says the grace. Everybody says amen. A smile on every face. So rice goes in the middle. Egg goes right on top. Mix it. Mix like crazy. Time for beep, bim, bop. And there's even a recipe. So beep, bim, bop is rice topped with vegetables and meat. You could probably put all kinds of different things on. Sounds good. Now I have a book about biting. It's got food on the cover. But it's called People Don't Bite People. And it's by Lisa Wheeler. And the pictures are by Molly Idol. don't bite people. It's 
good to bite a carrot. It's good to bite a steak. It's bad to bite your sister. She's not a piece of cake. It's good to bite a biscuit. It's good to bite a plum. It's bad to bite your brother. He's not a piece of gum. Cause people don't bite people. It's nasty and it's rude. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. A dog may bite. A horse may bite. They're animals, you see. But we can choose to use our words when people, you and me, they're saying please and thank you. A friend might shout and take your toy or even pull your hair. But here's a tip. Just close your lip. You're not a grizzly bear. Oh, people don't bite people. No matter what their mood, a friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. Some people bite their bottom lips. Some chew their ponytails. Some people tell you, bite your tongue. Some people bite their nails. It's gross to bite the skin you're in, but worse to bite another. Do not attack, go get a snack. It's bad to bite your mother. Yes, people don't bite people. It's no fun being chewed. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. A great white shark bites everything. A gray wolf bites a bone. But you, what you chew is up to you. Your chompers are your own. You're not a shark. You're not a wolf. But sometimes you get mad. Let it go. Just say no. It's bad to bite your dad. Look, you bit the newspaper. Say it with me. People don't bite people. You're not a zombie, dude. A friend will never bite a friend. Biting is for food. Puppies bite. Babies bite. They're much too young to know. But you grow bigger every day. And you know where teeth should go. You're on a roll. So take control. You'll handle it with style. Your teeth are meant for eating food and shining up your smile. She's brushing her teeth. People don't bite people. It really isn't right. But if their head is gingerbread, go on and take a bite. <laughs> it's a gingerbread cookie people. Biting people isn't good. Let's do a song. Let's do bubble pop. It's got five numbers in it. One, two, three, four, five. And five different colors. And you're gonna use your five fingers and five fingers to make a fishy to swim in the water. We're gonna start with number one. And the color is red. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> After one comes two. And what's this color? Yellow. So we have Two little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. And after two comes three. And this color is beautiful blue. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 bubble. 
Next comes four. And this color is purple. Four little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little purple fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. Pop's my favorite part. Okay, what's the next number? Five. And this color is green. So we have five green fish. Five little green fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little green fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. That's fun. This book is by Mo Willems. He did the words and the pictures, and it's called The Duckling Gets a Cookie. Here's little duckling. Scooty, 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 scooty. Hello. May I have a cookie, please? Oh. Thanks. That was very nice of you. Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, says Pigeon. How'd you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it? Politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? So you got a cookie with nuts just by asking? I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. I'll ask for a French fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Do I ask for candy? Yes, I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. And right now I'm asking why, why, why? Oh, there's more. Sometimes I ask for a hug or I'll ask for one more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. I ask to stay up late. Oh uh, yeah, I'm the askingest pigeon in town, but do I get what I ask for? No! It's not fair. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially ones with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? <clears throat> so I could give it to you. And another. What? You're giving me that cookie? Yeah, with the nuts. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. Mm, that is one cool duckling. Mm, yes. Sir. Bye. May I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. Duckling can't have nuts. <laughs> That's a fun one. One more story. And it's called Chicken Soup. Kind of like our first story. Wolf's Chicken Soup. Here we are on a bar on a farm. See the barn? Cow told sheep. Sheep told pig. 
pig told Goose. And Goose told all the chickens. Mrs. Farmer has taken out the big soup pot. <gasps> She's making chicken soup. Chicken soup, says the rooster. Run for your lives. And the chickens all skedaddle out of the hen house. All except little chicky. What's the matter? Asked Red Hen. I said you I got the cold in my beak, <laughs> said little chicky. Well, run anyway said Red Hen, and Little Chicky ran, and hid in the hayloft. <laughs> Look at them all in the head, oh, see his feet. And then they heard, here, chick, 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 clomp, 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 here, chick, 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 clomp, clomp, clomp. It was Mr. Farmer. He was getting closer and closer. He's looking for little chick. All that hay made little chick's beak tickle. And then, and, 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 the chickens all fluttered out of the hayloft and ran to the milk room. Here, chick, 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 chick. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Here, chick, 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 clump, clump, clump. Little chicky had hidden in the milk pail, but all that milk tickled her beak. And as Mr. Farmer got closer and closer, ha, 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 choo! Little chicky sneezed again. And the chickens all scattered out of the barn and ran to the sheep meadow. But they could still hear. Here, chick, 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 clump, clump, clump. Here, chick, 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 clump, clump, clump. Mr. Farmer's boots were closer and closer and closer. Little Chicky had hidden between the sheep, but all that wool tickled her beak. Uh, and you know what happens next? Ah, 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 choo! Little Chicky scurried out of the sheep meadow and into the pig pen. You better stop that sneezing, snorted Pig. Mr. Farmer's hot on your tail. And I, oh, I can't help it. Here, chick, 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 chick. Clump, clump, clump. Here, chick, 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 chick. Clump, clump, clump. Where could Little Chicky hide now? Run, hissed the goose. Better yet, fly. Little Chicky ran, and she flapped her little wings as hard as she could, but she couldn't get off the ground. <gasps> and Mr. Farmer's boots were right behind her. Here, chick, 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 chick. Clomp, clomp, clomp. <gasps> Look how close he is. Little Chick bounced and somersaulted and landed right in Miss, Mrs. Farmer's flower bed. And all those flowers tickled her beak. Ah, 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 choo! She sneezed, just as Mr. Farmer grabbed her by the leg. There you are, said Mr. Mr. Farmer. I've been looking everywhere for you. And he carried little chicken to the farmhouse and into the kitchen to Mrs. Farmer. Oh, there's poor little chicken said Mrs. Farmer. I heard you had a cold and weren't feeling well, so I made you some nice vegetable soup. Ah, uh, uh, choo, said little chicken. <laughs> she wasn't making chicken soup. She was making vegetable soup for little chick. It's nice to have soup when you're not feeling too good. <laughs> Okay, now it's time to say goodbye. So we have the goodbye version of our hello song. And you know the sign for goodbye. It's just a wave. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for coming today.
I hope I get to see you again real soon. Bye.